we're here because of meth. That's what this is about. They can't save Donald Trump. They can't take away the two impeachments and the four indictments, but they can try to put some numbers on the board for Joe Biden. But the problem is when you sling mud, you gotta have mud. If you all think there's so much evidence, we're here, call the vote on impeachment. Impeach him right now, I dare you. Joining me now is the congressman you just saw, Democrat Jared Moskowitz of Florida, and Basil Smeichel, Democratic strategist and director of the public policy program at Hunter College. Congressman, I'm just gonna let you talk because from the clips I saw, it sounded like a whole hot mess. Yeah, thanks, Joy, for having me. Yeah, to, it, this was an unmitigated disaster, and obviously it's a shame the Republicans are about to shut down the government because they need FEMA's help. That's how bad <laughs> today was. Uh, I mean, I just, it, it, they were not prepared. Uh, in the very first minute, their own witness, and I wasn't surprised because it was in the written testimony, comes out and says, everything you've been working on for the last eight months, everything that you have presented to the American people, does not rise to the level of impeachment. That's their own witness. It was awkward. You know, it, it was just like, it, it, I, I started to feel, feel like kind of bad, like this is clearly what they didn't plan for Fox News today. I mean, Jonathan Turley is, is not someone who's not interested in, in, in getting Democrats, right? Like, he, he's pretty motivated, I think, to try to find some reason to impeach Joe Biden. I think that he would love to do it. If he could say he, we, they should do it, he, he would. He didn't. He said, no, no, there's nothing here. Their forensic accountant, his name is Bruce Dubinsky, also said, mm -mm, there's nothing. Eileen O'Connor, a former assistant attorney general in the Justice Department's tax division, said, mm -mm, nothing. Was there a single witness, uh, Congressman, on their side who presented evidence that Joe Biden somehow was taking bribes apparently during the timeline when he was neither president nor vice president, because all this is supposed to have taken place while he was sitting home in, in Delaware. No, no, not a single shred of evidence, not a new fact, nothing. It was a recitation of the last eight months. It was it was a, a panel to kind of comment on on what the Republicans have been working on. I mean, all they did was say, you know, you know, the Biden family and and, and Hunter Biden and Jim Biden and and Commander Biden, the dog. You know, they 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 can never they never mention Joe Biden. They never say Joe Biden did X because it's not there. There's no evidence of that. By the way, they filed articles of impeachment. Some of them filed articles of impeachment two weeks into the Biden administration, right after January 6th, before a single hearing took place. So if they're so gung-ho, Joy, why, why, they, they refused to call the vote. I gave them the opportunity to call the vote. Right now, call the vote for impeachment in the hearing. And, and Comer it, it pretended like I didn't even say it. It's because they don't have the votes, because they don't have any evidence on Joe Biden. You know, and Basil, it, it feels like this impeachment is about their emotions. Mm. They're very upset that Donald Trump has been indicted four times, faces 92 counts, and they're very upset he was impeached twice. And so it appears that they're impeaching Joe Biden as revenge for Donald Trump being impeached because also he's telling him to. Well, they're picking up his talking points. You know, Donald Trump talks, he talks about retribution, he talks about reclamation, and essentially what they're trying to do is reclaim his stature or his integrity or whatever it is uh, to the American people. They're doing neither of that. It's a useless exercise uh, engaged by feckless Republicans on con in Congress. And, and I, and, yeah, go ahead. And, and, and w to, in your tease, in your lead up, there's a UAW strike. Student loans are coming back on, yes. and people got to start repaying those. Yeah. And they're not talking about these issues. They're, they, they, they're about to subpoena the dog uh, to have <laughs> him testify. You know, there's, there is such a thing as political theater, but this is fan fiction. Well, the thing it, about it is, if they, do, if they follow this political theater to its logical conclusion, we are to believe that when Joe Biden was no longer vice president, he had no actual power because he was nice to his son who was living with them. So his business wasn't doing that great because his address was his dad's address. Mm -hmm. That somehow he was conferring um, favor on him that he didn't have to confer because he wasn't in office and Trump was president. And then we're going to drag through this man's life. And what we're going to find out is that he was a drug addict. How many Americans are going to empathize with this guy, Hunter Biden, both of whose siblings are dead? 
who's had nothing but sad tragedy in his life, who's suffered a lot. His dad has suffered a lot. They've only got each other and their little family. All you're going to do is make him more sympathetic. I don't even understand it from a political point of view. The more we go on, you're going to realize, oh, Biden didn't even have any power at the time. And the son is sort of a sad story. And create actually sympathy for Biden because a father who loves his son tremendously. That's what they're and can't, for. And can't help him. And can't right? do anything I for can't, him. Can't do anything for him. And it's very clear that he's not going to do anything for him. And, and two very quick things, because this is also, particularly when you pay attention to the, the testimony today, yeah. it's a victory for accountability. Because who's going to go up there and lie on behalf of these members of Congress uh, and get in trouble because they've now seen people actually <laughs> go to jail or become indicted or get called to the carpet because they're lying and they should have no business doing that. I also want to say, just remember back after the Affordable Care Act, when Republicans said, we're going to take this down, we're going to repeal it, we're going to uh -huh. do it. Uh-huh, repeal and Nothing. replace. Nothing. Nothing. Same thing. C Congressman, I want to give you an opportunity to respond. After, as the hearing was wrapping up, Byron Donalds, uh, who was quite certain he was going to be speaker, uh, even though the Texas Republican who was nominating him later admitted not was just because you're black, dude. We just wanted a black guy because they had a black guy. But, you know, he was real sure, because he said he was in the room, and they said he was going to be speaker. Byron Donalds is now... Um, posted a tweet uh, in which he was trying to defend the fact that his false information, his fake text, um, he said, Jared Kushner has a legitimate business where he raised investment capital. That's the $2 billion from the Saudis. Hunter Biden had no legitimate business. The money collected was spent on him and his family. No comparison. Your thoughts. Do you have any response to him? Well, first of all, let's just talk about it, right? Jared Kushner worked in the West Wing of the White House. He had no experience in Mideast peace, but was put in charge of Mideast peace. He also couldn't get a, his, his clearance. He couldn't get a security clearance, but they overruled him to get him a security clearance, right? And so he he's works with the Saudis. He's in the Middle East. The administration ends, and all of a sudden, he gets $2 billion from the Saudis. What was that for? I mean, by the way, I, no foreign government sending me $2 billion. I mean, so this is ridiculous. There are legitimate questions why Jared Kushner got $2 billion to run a hedge fund. By the way, he had no experience to run a hedge fund either. So yeah, it, it's very comparable, but they're not interested in finding out why a foreign government would send Donald Trump's son-in-law $2 billion. No, because it's Donald Trump, right? That's why they're not interested. And that's why they have no credibility, Joy. Yeah. They just have no credibility on the subject. Otherwise, Jared Kushner would be in front of a committee and they'd be asking, hey, Jared, you know, people just don't send $2 billion to people. You must have done something for them or promised them something. Yeah. I, I will also note that during the hearing at one point, one Democratic member said, raise your hand if there's if there's adjudicated cr criminality from both Hunter Biden and Donald Trump. Would you support both of them being held accountable? Only the Democrats raised their hand. So it's, it's a sham. And, you know, keep the government open. How about that? Okay. Pay for the government. Do that, Republicans. Congressman Jared Moskowitz, thank you very much. Basil Smichel, thank you very much. Coming up, the second Republican debate.